10 Best Taijutsu Battles in Boruto, Ranked The big energy battles still exist, but the Boruto anime sprinkles in more than a few martial arts style battles as well. The further Naruto went on. The less Taijutsu seemed to matter, robbing fans of any development from people like Rock Lee. Far too many fights came down to who had the biggest and flashiest jutsu rather than who was the better ninja. It became more akin to energy battles in Dragon Ball Z, Boruto has helped remedy some of that, putting more of a focus on hand-to-hand -hand combat. The big energy battles still exist. But the Boruto anime sprinkles in more than a few martial arts style battles as well. 10. Rock Lee vs. Metal Lee helps his son overcome his fears. When talking about underrated characters, Rock Lee has to be at the top of the list. He's a character who could be the strongest current taijutsu expert in Boruto. Yet he doesn't do anything in the series. The closest he's come to fighting is this spar with his son Metal, where he tried to get his son to overcome his fears. He's successful in doing so. Even if his logic was a little bit flawed. The entire fight shows the potential metal could have, yet it's never explored. 9. Boruto vs. New is simple very Naruto-like in its finale. Boruto vs. New showcased that Boruto was far from the idiot he acted like at times during the first arc. He was able to pinpoint the weakness on New and struck it with the aid of Mitsuki. The fight itself is simple in the sense that it's mostly the two dodging until the opportunity presented itself, but there's nothing wrong with that. The way it ended felt like a page right out of his dad's playbook as he managed to talk down some ire. 8. Orochimaru vs. Log is a masterclass in swordsmanship. The battle between Orochimaru is brief as it serves more of a story purpose that way, this being Mitsuki's arc to shine in. What we do get is pretty great, showing off how a sword battle should be done. Their two blades clash repeatedly sending off sparks around them as their movements are fast but slow enough that they aren't just specks of light moving around. It's a battle that's short and sweet, doing exactly what it set out to do. 7. Boruto Mitsuki vs. Shizuma shows how similar to his father Boruto is. While there are jutsu peppered in here and there, mainly by Mitsuki, the battle is mostly physical combat. The fight itself isn't the most spectacular in the series, but it tells a great story with the connection Boruto makes with people, much like his father. He managed to turn Kagura away from Shizuma's ideals. Putting an end to the villain. The way Samahada turned on Shizuma felt fitting and showed off what an animal Kisame used to be. 6. Sakura vs Shin showed Sakura was more than a housewife. Sakura is often made fun of in the Naruto fandom, and it's justified more often than not. She was an annoying and wasted character for much of the series. In the second arc of Boruto, they tried to change that, having her square up with the big bad of the arc, Shin Uchiha. Surprisingly, she's given her due in it. She sends Shin on the defensive for much of it in a cat and mouse style fight that is animated very well. If not for some of the battles that come later in the series, this could have been one of the best. 5. Hanabi vs. Boruto is more of a spar than a battle. The only thing holding the fight between Hanabi and Boruto back is the fact that it's a simple sparring session between the two to see if Boruto has a Byakugan. As he claimed. If there were any stakes to it, this could be one of the best in the series, and the reason why is how well choreographed it is. No one has wasted movements, and it feels like a real martial arts fight. Something that's hard to do with all of the overpowered abilities in the universe now. 4. Kanoamaru vs. Yugo showed how skilled at Taijutsu Kanoamaru is. When the series focuses on the martial arts aspect of fighting, it tends to knock it out of the park, and this underrated battle between Yugo and Kanoamaru is proof of that. 
It's intense and brutal from the jump, both combatants aiming for the kill shot right away. It's such a nice change from both sides tending to take it easy to start with. The money shot of this fight is when Konohamaru kicks a kunai through Yugo's mouth. It's such an epic moment that Konohamaru doesn't get enough of in the series. 3. Sasuke vs. Kinshiki is brief but never slows down. Sasuke and Kinshiki's fight starts abruptly with Kinshiki launching a surprise attack on Sasuke. From there, it never takes a moment to breathe. The two of them going at each other from start to finish. While the battle is more kenjutsu than taijutsu, it's incredibly pleasing to the eyes. Both combatants are moving at speeds the eye can barely see. Considering how strong Kinshiki is, it's impressive that Sasuke could deflect so many of his blows with only one arm. 2. The first half of Sasuke Naruto vs Mamashiki is pure eye candy. While the battle with Mamashiki devolves into massive ninjutsu and energy attacks, it starts with pure taijutsu. Those two minutes are pure bliss as it perfectly shows how well Naruto and Sasuke work together, using both strategy and teamwork to dominate their Atsutsuki foe. More than any fight in the series. Aside from perhaps Sasuke vs Kinshiki, this battle shows just how fast the two powerhouses from Shippuden are. Everyone is flickering over the screen like blinks of light. 1. Kawaki vs Garo is two dudes just wailing on each other. Garo vs Kawaki is near perfection when it comes to a hand-to-hand -hand fight. There's a back and forth between the two of them. Kawaki getting the upper hand initially before Garo sees his advantage. The flow of the fight is good, especially for one that lasts as long as this one did. More than anything. The lack of range attacks outside of a few cannon blasts makes it feel intimate. They are almost always up close and personal, just wailing on each other. It feels like a heavyweight fight. As it should, considering Kawaki's place as the final villain.